Have you laughed when you see a guy walk straight into a fountain because he wasn't paying attention? Well, that's you taking pleasure in other people's misfortune. And the Germans called it Schadenfreude. Schaden means harm and Freude means joy. So, in English, it's translated to harm joy. So how is it that the Germans have a term like Schadenfreude and we don't? Well, according to the Sapir work hypothesis, language affects how we perceive and think about the world around us. And that some thoughts and perception of individuals in one language cannot be understood by others who live with another language. There are two theories to this hypothesis. Linguistic determinism, which stated that language determines how people think and feel. And linguistic relativity, which stated that language affects the way we perceive and experience the world. A study showed that Mandarin speakers are more likely to talk about time vertically. For example, last month is perceived as upward, while next month is perceived as downward. Additionally, in English, however, we are more likely to talk about time horizontally, where next month is perceived as forward and last month is perceived as backward. Also, the brain more people of Papua New Guinea perceive colors differently than ours. Researchers have shown that they only have five different color groupings, while we have ten or more. So, back to Schadenfreude. We are familiar with this feeling of having pleasure from other people's misfortune. We just don't have a word for it like the Germans do. And so if the Seberwurf hypothesis is true, then we shouldn't have any experiences or thoughts like Schadenfreude. With that being said, what do you think of the hypothesis? Is it true or not?